Right, second optimization question. A four litre container <coughs> must have a square base, vertical sides, and an open top. Find the most economical shape which minimizes the surface area of material needed. So, most economical because you need the most, the least material to make the shape of the same volume. So, the less material, the cheaper the thing is to make. Right, so. Something you absolutely need to know is that one litre equals 1,000 cm cubed. You should have known that from your IGCSE days and possibly before, maybe you even missed the lane. So this is four litres, right? So four litres equals 4,000 cm cubed. That is the volume, right? So that's the actual volume. We're going to need an expression for volume. And then we're going to get an expression for surface area just in terms of one, hopefully one letter. And then we're going to try and minimize it and then we're going to test it and then we should be finished. So V equals, this is a cuboid, right? Length times width, right, length times width times height. So in this case, it tells us another clue. It says <coughs> this is a square base vertical size. So the square base means that whatever this is, this is the same. So we're going to call them letters. I'm going to call this X and X. They are, it is square, so these are equal. If that's X and X, maybe the height can be Y, right? So now you can get an expression. Well, length times width, we'll call that X times X. So that will be V equals X times X, X squared times Y. So V equals X squared Y. Now, what we can do is write that in terms of something else. So actually, 4,000 equals X squared Y. So what I can do now, I can write X or I can write Y in terms of X. And then when I get the surface area expression, I should be able to eliminate, I should just have one letter. So y equals 4,000 over x squared. The more optimization questions you do, you'll get used to this. But if it's brand new, you really do need to practice. Surface area. In fact, should we just call it A? So A, and we're going to read for that surface area. Equals. So the surface area of this, now be careful, don't forget it is open. So it's going to be the base, x squared, plus, well it's going to be four of these. So you've got the base plus this, the two side walls, plus the front, plus the back. So there are four, they are all x times y, x times y, that's a y there, x times y. So plus four, of, because there's four of them, x y so this is where now this is really really handy because i can substitute in for y y being 4000 over x squared so area as in surface area equals x squared plus 4 x times y which was 4000 over x squared tidy it up so a equals x squared plus oof, 4 times 4,000, well 4, 4 is a 16, so it must be 16,000, x over x squared is going to be an x on the bottom, so 16,000 over x. We've got our expression for surface area in terms of one neat variable. Now, we're looking to minimize, we're looking to find the value of x, and hence y later on, we're going to find the, the value of x that makes this as low as possible, so we're going to look for again a stationary point. So at SP, any optimization problem, you need to find a stationary point. Um, dA by dx equals zero. So we need to find dA by dx. So A equals x squared plus 16,000 x to the power minus one. So dA by dx must be 2x. And then bring the power to the front, minus 1 times, so minus 16,000 x to the power minus 2. So I'm actually just going to write over x squared. 
Although I, I guess we might need it later. Never mind. We'll sort it out later. Okay, so we've got our expression for dA by dx. So remember, so at sp, so we're going to solve now for the stationary point. 0 equals 2x minus 16,000 over x squared. So we could, we could divide through by 2. Might help a little bit. And probably move that over there. So 0 equals x minus 8. That's an x, isn't it? 8,000 over x squared. So now I'm going to add that to both sides. Got one more bit. So that would be 8,000 8, over x squared equals x. So now you're nearly there. If we multiply both sides by x cubed, that's going to say 8,000 equals x cubed, meaning that x, for a minimum, equals the cube root of 8,000, which you might think that's a bit, a bit rough, but you know that 2 cubed equals 8, so what about 20 cubed? Well, that's going to be it's um, 2 times 10 cubed, right, which is 2 cubed, 8 times 10 cubed, or times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 8 times 10 times 10 times 10. So x equals 20 for stationary point. Okay, so we know that x equals 20 cm is going to produce our stationary point. We should verify that this is a minimum, it gives us a minimum surface area. So recall dA by dx. dA by dx was 2x minus 1600,000 x to the minus 2. Right, so d squared a by dx squared is going to be 2, well, plus minus 2 times the minus 1, so plus um, 2 times 16 is 32, so 32,000 x to the power, drop the power by 1 minus 3, which is 2 plus 32,000 over x cubed. Now remember, we're looking to show it's a minimum. So basically, when x equals 20, and we don't need to find the actual value, but if you just need to show that this expression gives something positive for a minimum. So remember, if, if this is positive at the point, if the second derivative is positive, it gives, shows it's a minimum because the gradient is increased. So d squared a by dx squared, well, it equals 2 plus 32,000 over 20 cubed. Um, well, 20 cubed is greater than 0, 32,000 divided by 20 cubed must be greater than 0, is that? So, 2 plus 32,000 over 20 cubed must also be greater than 0. So, d squared a by dx squared is greater than 0, so stationary point is a minimum, which is what we want, so we minimise surface area when x is 20. Okay, but what it actually asked for was the dimensions of the box, so if you recall that y equaled 4000 over x squared, so when x equals 20, y equals 4000 over 20 squared, well 20 times 20 is 400. So 4,000 divided by 400, you can just whip some zeros off. It's 40 over 4 equals 10. Right? Equals 10. So, box size. Box dimensions of 20 times 20 times 10 base, that's the base, minimises the surface area.